So one of the great things, obviously, about the uh, collaboration workshop, unsurprisingly, is the opportunities uh, to try and find um, ways in which you can collaborate together. And so given the volume that I've been hearing of the discussions uh, over the breaks and the lunch, uh, if that's an indication, and that's already happening, which is great. But what we're going to do now, or at least um, soon-ish, uh, is, to, is to give you uh, an opportunity as part of the agenda to do this as part of the session. Um, so the idea is that we're going to have a collaborative idea session uh, where you uh, are put into assigned groups and then basically you talk a little bit, a bit about what the sort of things, the problems you're facing, your bit, a bit about your background, the kind of things, you, problems you want to solve. Um, and this gives you an opportunity to sort of get, to get ideas from others, uh, from, from other walks of life um, on how best to do that and perhaps get some help from them as well. And so what we've done is we've put you into these assigned groups and I've been reliably informed that we've actually assigned you into groups based on a mystery algorithm and what we want you to do as perhaps a side task as you're actually working in your groups and discussing your ideas um, is to work out perhaps what that algorithm is. Um, not important, but if you do, let us know if you've got it, we'll, we'll tell you if you've got it right. So, um, so when I stop talking, we're going to have uh, coffee at 11, but of course you can actually start doing this a little bit earlier if you wish. So the idea is that once you actually get into your groups, and you can find your groups on the back of your agenda, uh, your assigned groups there, uh, groups A to L. Um, what we'll do is we'll put you into the groups and you'll have rooms assigned as you can find on the agenda. We'll return at 12.45 um, and then uh, continue. But you must make sure that you've actually written up your idea by 12.45. So try and keep 10 to 15 minutes for a write-up at the end. Um, and that gives you some time, Jen, Jen just to, uh, to make sure that you've got your idea sort of written down and put into, into a form that we can use. Um, so the idea, first of all, is to, is to introduce yourselves, uh, so a little bit about your background, the kind of things you're interested in, your skills. Um, and then, first of all, after that, select a chair and a scribe, so someone is going to, to make sure that the, the talk stays the topic, and someone is going to be writing down uh, the outputs from the discussion. And so when you have the scribe assigned, the scribe then requests a template to the idea uh, from this location, this URL here. So this is the same URL you used yesterday. Uh, but make sure you do that when you, when you request it. You use uh, an email from a Google-connected account just so you can uh, access a document and edit it. So I'm going to give you a few tips about how best to do that to get the most out of this session. Um, so first off, um, after you've selected your chair and your scribe, introduce yourself a little. Take it in turns to introduce something about your work that's important to you as, a, as an individual. Something, it could be anything at all. So a few ideas. It could be a new project that you want to get started and you want some help or some feedback on how best to do that, how best to take that forward. It could be a policy uh, that you want to see adopted. Again, perhaps you want some feedback on how best to approach getting that policy adopted. It could be that it's a tool that you want to see built. Perhaps you have a personal itch that you want to scratch, something that would be really useful to the work that you're doing. And it could be that others in your group can help you to design how best to approach that idea and uh, take that idea forward. Um, or it could be a problem that you face, a general problem, you just don't know how to solve it. You just want some, some feedback on how best to approach solving that problem. So this really gives you an opportunity sort of, uh, to take advantage of the other people in your group and the ideas they may have. Um, to take the idea forward. And so this really is the place to discuss these kinds of ideas. So once you've actually taken it in turns and discussed, uh, introduced your ideas and the problems that you're having and things you'd like to do, uh, then make a decision about which idea is most likely to be one taken forward uh, from this. Now this could be quite a difficult task. Selecting one idea can be very difficult. I'm sure a lot, all of you will have some very good ideas about, about what you'd like to do. Um, but even if your idea isn't taken forward as part of the collaborative session, uh, you can still submit it yourself using the form later in the workshop if you wish. And so the output from the session uh, is basically an idea a team of three to six people could take forward during the hack day. It doesn't necessarily have to be something that's taken forward during the hack day. It could be something that you want to work on after the workshop. Um, but if you do decide to take it forward as part of the hack day, uh, you'll have to have someone available to be able to pitch that idea at the hack day in the evening tonight. Um, so yes, we have the form link there again, just for your convenience, so feel free to, to make a note of that, uh, to get your template to write down your idea. And so the idea then is, um, once you've submitted your idea, um, once you've written it up, um, then from 1.15 onwards, and all the way up until the last coffee, uh, 
uh, the end of the last coffee break, which I believe ends at 10 past four, uh, you get a chance to vote. And the idea is that each one of you will have three dots, three sticky dots, and each sticky dot represents a vote. So the idea is that you can actually assign these dots to the ideas that you think are really good that you'd like to see taken forward. Um, so you can vote for the same idea multiple times. You could assign th all three of your sticky dots to one idea if you think it's super great. Or it could be you distribute those dots. Don't vote for your own idea. Yes. This is, this is a very, very important point. We would like you not to try and game the system too much, uh, at all, if possible. Uh, you can't vote for the ideas uh, for, for, the, for the groups that you are in. Um, so, yeah, think about the value of other ideas beyond the ideas that, you, that you've come up with. Um, so, at the end of the close of day, we're going to have a prize giving um, part of the day where you can basically collect a prize from your, for each of your groups. So, you have to be here physically in order to collect the prize. Um, and so, for those, for the team that comes first, there'll be a £30 Amazon voucher uh, for each team member. And then for the second place, there'll be a £20 Amazon voucher for each, for each member of the team. And so again, you can see your, um, your, your groups and the locations on the back of the agenda. So just have a quick look now if you haven't already. Um, if you have turned up, and I know some of you have turned up, um, and you haven't been assigned a team yet, uh, go to a team that's only got five members. I think the groups K and L only have five members. So, so, so assign yourself to perhaps one of those teams. Um, there's also pen and paper available at reception if you wish to have something uh, that you need to be able to write down, perhaps to draw some ideas out. We've also got a set of uh, our tips and ideas about how best to get uh, the most out of the session as well. So you can use this link here to find out some tips. Um, and again, importantly, when you do request your template for editing and putting in your idea, make sure you use an email address that's associated with a Google account. That makes it a little easier just to, to be able to edit the document. But very importantly, the template, the, when you're actually writing up your idea, please make sure you get that done by 12.45, because at 12.50 sharp, we're going to be printing these ideas and putting them out in the foyer to vote. Um, so please make sure you do that. Okay? Right, so, um, any questions before I go on? Is that reasonably clear? Yeah? Okay. Right, so, there you go. There's um, the list of collaborative ideas groups on the back of your agenda. Okay, um, so this is the template request form here. So for this session, you'll be using the second type there, the collaborative idea, hack day idea. So just make sure you click that radio button uh, when you submit the form. And as an aside, if you'd like to submit an idea for the hack day, but perhaps independently of the collaborative session, you can do that too. Um, you have till 5.30 uh, today to be able to get your idea in for that. Um, and so, again, use the same template to be able to do that if you just want to put in an idea for, for the hack day itself. But again, if you want to put an idea in for the hack day, you have to be here uh, and present that as a pitch uh, later on uh, tonight. Okay, and I think that's it. So we've got coffee coming up at 11, um, till 11.30, so feel free to, to meet up in your groups if you wish um, at 11. That will give you a little more time to work on your ideas and have a talk about what idea you'd like to take forward. Um, and then so you can just grab some coffee, then go off to your rooms and uh, begin your collaborative session. So I wish you all the best and uh, good luck, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.